In this video, we're going to talk about provisional patent applications. A provisional patent application is just like it sounds. That is, an initial and temporary application that the Patent Trademark Office does not examine. You can file provisional patent applications without including any patent claims and without including formal drawings. So it's relatively easy for an applicant to put together a detailed description of his or her invention and drawings are an important aspect of doing this, and file that as a provisional patent application. Now, a provisional patent application has two main benefits. One is that it can count as an early filing date upon which a later filed non-provisional patent application can rely. This is done by filing a non-provisional patent application within 12 months of your provisional application. As long as the provisional application fully supports, describes, and enables the patent claims that eventually issue, then those claims get the benefit of the provisional filing date. This can be important because when the Patent Trademark Office is judging the newness and the non-obviousness of your claims, they're generally looking at your filing date to make that determination. Filing a provisional patent application allows an applicant to go out and talk about and market their invention or even launch a product or service. And if that provisional patent application sufficiently describes the technology that's included in that presentation, that pitch, or that product or service, then that launch or otherwise public disclosure should not harm the patentability of the eventual patent claims. The other advantage of filing a provisional patent application is that it can be used to extend the patent term. Now in a prior video we discussed how generally the patent term is 20 years from the patent application filing, but this does not count a provisional patent application. For applicants that believe that the lucrative period of time of the patent term is going to be towards the end, such as pharmaceuticals or biotech or medical devices, it may behoove the applicant to file a provisional patent application wait the 12 months and then file a non-provisional patent application, effectively making the patent term 21 years from the filing of the provisional patent application, and therefore adding a financially beneficial year at the end of the patent term. Now there are some risks of filing a provisional patent application. And the risks are that if you don't fully describe the technology that you're later going to claim, then you won't benefit from that filing date. Sometimes people think that because a provisional can be done cheaply and easily, that they don't invest enough time to fully describe and enable their invention. Another problem is that sometimes people file a provisional application, and then through customer discovery or the product development phase, they add new features to the technology or they tweak it in a way, and that new subject matter is not included in the provisional patent application. It's important to invest enough time in the provisional patent application to make sure that it fully supports the claims that you later want to pursue. The filing fees for a provisional patent application are $130 for a small entity. And a small entity is a company with less than 500 employees or a nonprofit or institute of higher education. And those companies or schools cannot have transferred the patent rights to someone that's not a small entity. Under the new provisions of the Patent Act that went into effect March 16th of 2013, there's also a tier of applicants called micro-entities. Micro-entities are small entities that have not filed four or more non-provisional patent applications in the last year and that make less than $150,000. And that number is going to change over time as the median income changes. And that micro-entity may not have transferred the rights to any entity that's not a micro-entity. So the filing fees are pretty low, and by working with a patent attorney and doing a lot of the legwork and putting together the description and providing good drawings of an application, an applicant can usually get a provisional patent application on file much more cheaply than had they paid for the full non-provisional application. And that's a general description of provisional patent applications.